you start your process going through the U.S. military, first thing you do is you raise your right hand in the air, you swear the oath. You get processed through maps. You got to do the duck walk and take ASVAB test and blood work, all that. You know, physical, they check your mental capabilities. The scariest moment you'll experience is the moment of truth. That's when you arrive wherever you're gonna get trained. And they give you one last chance to admit to something that you did. They wanna know if you have gang affiliations, things like that. They wanna know if you have a history of mental illness. So I got up there for everybody, the master sergeant, big motherfucker, white guy. He goes, why are you standing in front of me? <laughs> I said I was in a gang before I came in, Mess Sergeant. I mean, sir. <laughs> he goes, yeah, what? I said, dead rabbits out in New York City. He goes, you got a tattoo? I said, yeah. I showed him. He goes, what's this, some kind of joke? <laughs> I said, no, I'm a dead rabbit. <laughs> I said, my dad's a meat cutter. He goes, that's an Energizer bunny. I said, it's a dead rabbit. He said, why is it pink? I said, because I'm the god of passion. <laughs> it's a moment of truth. It's a very serious ceremony. Everyone's laughing in the room. I had my back to him. You know what he did? He said, get the fuck away from me. <laughs> he, he said, you got mental disorder? I said, yeah, just one. He said, what is it? I said, well, some days I'm happy and some days I'm sad. He goes, let me guess you're bipolar. I said, yeah. He goes, why aren't you still in the mental institution? I said, because I escaped. <laughs> he goes, I don't ever want to see you again. Sit down. And then he asked, there's a gunnery sergeant in there. He goes, is he going to Catalan's platoon? He goes, yeah, he's in 54. He goes, he'll fix him. You know what I said? No, he won't, sir. <laughs> I love Catalan, man. East LA gangbanger. East LA gangbanger. He taught us how to iron. He said before he left his crib, he always had a blue bandana, pressed it clean. He never left the house dirty, never. He never spoke to me one-on-one, -on -one, ever. He would walk in front of me and do this. We'll move on to the next one. The coolest thing he did in boot camp was towards the end when we went to the uh, we went to obstacle course. He come up to me, goes, Kasra, you're gonna be the guide today. I said, no, Stuart's a guide. He goes, no, no nuts. Not a 54, the company. Go get the company guard up from Captain Rose and I said, nah. I said, yes, sir. I ran to Captain Rose's office as fast as I could. I didn't bang on the hatch, I barged in. He was getting dressed. He goes, what do you need, Kasarag? I said, throw a search start Catalan told me to get the company guide on. He goes, it's right there, grab him, get out of my office. I said, yes, sir. I got the lead series guide on. I was supposed to get the company guide on, but Captain Rosen picked the wrong one, I think on purpose. So I, <laughs> I led the whole company as a guide. <laughs> with, the, with the guide on for, uh, for lead series. We were follow series. We cleaned up their garbage. We were the best. Within 1054, won everything. We got first place in everything. Anyway. <laughs> Whoever was in platoon 1051 or 50, I forget which. I don't know. The only one that made sense to me was 54. Everybody else was box of rocks, man. Brain dead. What's up, kid? Y'all going to the park? That's cool. I took my skateboard over there the other day, man. I like that skate park. Bunch of thugs. Anyway, 
whoever the guide was behind me, I was leading the way. He goes, you, you need to go to the right. I said, what? I can't hear you, sir. He goes, you need to go to the right. So to the left I went. Then he told me, he's like, no, no, you're on the right. I kept going to the left. I had the whole company following me wherever I wanted. And when I got done, I looked at him. I said, I'm going to see you again. I got yelled at pretty good by every drill instructor for grabbing the wrong guide on. <laughs> but I heard him laughing in a duty hunt. <laughs> Another dirty trick they pulled, they knew my recruiter in Joplin, Missouri. He called the duty hunt when I was down there. They had me come in and talk to him. So he was talking to me like I was back on the block. He's like, how's boot camp? I'm like, it's okay. I got attacked. They're like, oh, oh, it's okay. It's not sir, huh? It's not okay, sir. They hazed me for hours, and he's on the phone laughing, and I was laughing harder than he was. The hardest day in boot camp was when we left. I did not want to leave. They forced me onto that bus. I'm like, I love it here. They're like, this place is hell. I'm like, I enjoy it. They're like, believe me, you're gonna do better things. Supper Fidelis, God bless the Marine Corps.